Hi, Assalamualaikum. Okay, today we're going to topic 6 in which we'll cover the procurement and inventory control. And for topic 6, uh, I divided into 3. Okay, 6A, we're going to learn the, on the inventory. 6B, we're going to look at the lean vision. And 6C, we're going to look at the supply chain. Okay, for this week, I will do topic 6A first. Okay. So, the learning objective for this topic is to discuss the functional inventory, why we need inventory in the manufacturing, and then we will use the ABC analysis, okay, and then cycle counting, record accuracy, and also we'll do some calculation on the EOQ model, in which we're involved with the holding cost, uh, uh, reorder cost, and so on, okay. And then we will do the quantity discount and also reorder point and set the stock. Okay, inventory management, the objective is to strike a balance between inventory and also customer service. In which means that we must uh, keep enough stock so that the customer will get all their orders. Okay, so not too much and not too low. Okay, so you need to balance the uh, inventory. Okay, the importance of inventory is that most of the asset is uh, it come from the inventory because we keep so many things in the warehouse. Okay, so sometimes we don't need more than that. So we need to do a proper calculation and also we need to plan for our inventory. Okay, and operation manager is the one who need to balance the uh, stock or the inventory. Okay, function of inventory. First, so that we can anticipate the demand. Okay, we want to know is there any fluctuation in demand. If the demand uh, can be predict or not. So, demand we always predict from the forecast. Okay, remember we learn forecasting. So, the information from forecasting is very important for the inventory. Okay, how many stock that you want to keep and how many uh, finished goods that you need to produce so that you can deliver to your customer okay and then you need you want to have inventory to decouple or separate various parts sometimes you need uh, to have the work in progress or work in process inventory okay let's say machine a is too slow so machine b have uh, to wait so maybe you need to have some extra stock uh, WIP for the machine B. So machine B can work also. Okay, so there's no idle time. And then to take advantage of quantity discount. Okay, sometimes uh, uh, the supplier offer, okay, if you buy 1000, we give you 5% discount. So you need to keep some of the stock. But you need to calculate whether, whether it's worth it or not. Sometimes the price is look very tempting. Orang kata memang is murah, tapi sebenarnya when you keep too many uh, inventory, it will give you more cost, okay, because cost of holding, cost of penyimpan, okay, you need to rent the warehouse and so on, okay, later on we will look at the holding cost, and then to hedge against inflation, okay, inflation, uh, maybe there's also seasonal, um, due to seasonal, for example, uh, if you're a baker, and then during Hari Raya, you want to keep extra butter, okay, you, you want to have a stock, Lots of stock of egg, okay, uh, lots of stock of flour, it okay, depends, okay. So, uh, sometimes you need to, to check on the uh, forecast of the demand. Okay, there's a fourth type of inventory, this is a common one. The first is raw material. The raw material, uh, usually uh, we store before the process, okay. So, we purchase, for example, if you are uh, making a uh, a canned vegetable, so you need to stock up with the vegetable, raw vegetables and so on. Okay, and then another one is work in process or work in progress, WIP, in which uh, the stock between the process. Okay, machine A maybe have some uh, stock before before going to the process. Okay, machine B and so on. But bear in mind, we don't want to have too many WIP on the shop floor. Okay, it will disturb the uh, movement of flow. Okay, and then we have finished good inventory. Means that we have completed but waiting for shipment. Maybe we are waiting for the logistic uh, uh, and so on. Okay, and the fourth one is the maintenance and repair, MRO. Okay, 
we need to keep some of the spare part we need to keep some of the tools and all of this we need to to have a proper management okay means that we know how many uh, main, uh spare part that we have how many tools that we have okay we need to uh to put in the uh, doc document and we need to record all that okay if you look at this um figure so it shows that actually most of the process is involved with the waiting okay waiting for inspection waiting to be moved okay all of this we consider as a uh work in process in inventory okay so actually the working part or the process part is five percent okay 95 percent is mostly on the waiting and also we call it as a wip managing how to manage the inventory okay when we have lots of inventory you need to have a very uh, efficient and effective way to manage the inventory okay first is classification of inventory item okay, sometimes you have more than 5000 type of inventory uh, 5000 type of item in your warehouse so you need to classify them which one is very important which one is very sensitive which one is very expensive so you need to classify your stock or your items then you need to accuracy uh inventory record maintenance so you need to have the system okay for example you need a, a barcode okay uh, or rfid system so all of this is very important so that you can manage the inventory okay and you need to control the inventory once you you have uh, the inventory because sometimes uh, we might uh, have problem uh, shrinkage okay maybe sometimes we 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 lost track of the amount of stock and also uh preparage means that stealing ah huh? okay this one is especially when we're dealing with a very expensive uh, item so you need to be very careful maybe you have to put extra security for some of the item that you have uh, in your warehouse okay this thing is uh happening out there and uh some of the technique uh, that uh, the industry are using they have uh, CCTV okay they have the RFID system and then they have a very tight control in shipping in coming shipping in which they check all the quality before they put in the warehouse okay so all of these need to be uh, very organized and especially when you deal with lots of items so you need a very uh, effective and efficient system Okay, ABC analysis is uh, how to classify. Okay, usually, we classify as uh, A item, B item, or C item. Okay, how to know which one is A, B, C? Usually, A involved with the high volume. I know volume means that sometimes it's, it can be expensive item. And also, it can be a, a high volume. Okay? And C is the low annual volume. Okay? so that uh, it means that the stock is not that many but uh and also the price is not too expensive okay so we later we will look at the example okay how to classify the inventory okay these are the example of abc calculation okay this is for a cheap manufacturer okay so this is are the item stock that they have okay so maybe this is an example so there's not too many stock and then these are the percent of number of item stock okay so uh these are the percentage okay and these are the annual volume in means that per year okay annual means that per year so in one year they they use about 1000 units okay for this item so we can see that uh, there's a various uh, number okay depends on the stock item and then unit cost is the price of the item here. So we can see that the most expensive one here, here is this one. Okay, 154 per unit. Okay, this uh, item. And then we need to find the annual dollar volume in which we need to uh, times the annual volume times the unit cost. Okay, so column 3 and you do times okay with column 4 and then you get the annual dollar volume okay this are the volume and then how to get the percentage okay uh, the percentage is first you have to sum 
all of the annual dollar volume then you will take for example for this uh, stock so you take the annual dollar volume for this stock and divide with this uh, sum and you times with 100 to get the percentage so for this one is 38.8 this one is 33.2 so you have to do all of the items then you need you can start to classify okay uh, before that, you make sure that uh, annual dollar volume, you need to arrange it from the highest to the lowest. Okay. And then, then you can start with the classification. So, the first top 70% around that is considered as A. Okay. So, you need to, uh, this cumulative. So, you need to add 38.8% with 33.2%. So, you get 72. So, when you get about 70%, so you can consider these two as a class A. Okay, then you move on. Next, okay. So, 11.3. Then you add another one, 6.4. Okay, and then uh, you uh, it's around about 20 to 25. So, you can add more on. So, you can add another 5.4%. So, you get 23%. Okay, so when you get about the 23% to 25, then you can classify it as a B. Okay, you know that the rest usually uh, consists of... Uh, single digit okay we call it okay mostly so it's a very small percentage so it's cumulative up to five percent so you can declare that this part as a c uh, uh class okay so a b c so we know that this a you need to be very careful you need to put uh, extra security okay for this class okay all right so other criteria is the is then annual dollar may be used okay just now we use the annual dollar volume so sometimes you will not you will look at the high shortage or holding cost okay maybe uh will give you uh idea okay which one to uh start that you need to focus on okay and then sometimes you look at the delivery problem okay maybe the the supplier is maybe in china or in other country so you need to make sure that this uh class a uh, item you need to make sure you do the reorder reorder earlier okay due to the shipment and then uh, other policy that you may include at the abc classification maybe uh, during the forecasting maybe you need to forecast uh, a item uh, more okay or you need to look at the other uh, factor that can uh, affect the uh, item A delivery. Okay. And then title physical inventory for control A items. Okay. We know that control A is the most expensive. Okay. The high volume, uh, dollar volume. So we need to put CCTV, security and so on. And also we need to make sure that the, the supplier for item A is uh, on time. Okay, record accuracy. Uh, okay, this is the common. Okay, you need to have a very proper record in and out. Okay, what, uh, uh, what, how many uh, item that left in the storage or so on. So all of this you need to be uh, accurate, and also you need to make sure that all of the information is available anytime. Okay, so it can be assessed by the procurement team. Okay, so incoming and going no B2 need to be record. Okay, before this they use the manual record so it takes lots of time but now only they are using the RFID, barcode and so on. So the time and the process will be more efficient and effective. Okay, cycle counting. Okay, you need to do uh, update. Okay, you need to audit to make sure that the amount or the number in the record is steady with the item in the warehouse. Okay. So, sometimes you need to do um, uh, stock counting, okay, stock take, we call it, so to make sure the inventory record are accurate. So, you have to have the audit team coming in, okay, if there's any error, so you need to rectify why this is happening, so all of that need to be, uh, to, to be done, so that you know that your uh, record and the physical item is Correct and eh? tally. Okay, these are the counting example. Okay, cycle counting. So, 5,000 uh, item in inventory in which they have classified. 500 A item and then 1,750 is the B item and the rest is the C item. 
And then the policy is to count A every month. Okay, so the working day, one month is 20 days. So they need to plan which one, when they need to do the counting. Okay, and the B item is quarterly, means that six days. And then the C item every six months. Okay, so we need to 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 make sure that what are the 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 date that we need to do the uh, uh counting yeah so we need a classify a 500 each month so 500 divided by 20 so 25 per day okay so we divide uh which one that we need to count okay and then uh for the b item okay so every day we need to 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 check on the 29 okay 29 item and c we need to check 23 item per per day so that we already plan it out okay so i think that's all for the part one so i will go next in the uh, calculation in part two